Hey everyone, it's Val from Motion Boutique. Today we're going to learn step by step how to dynamically animate this vein, flexible tube, or stomach. You decide what you're looking at. This tube will animate and deform as objects in this case, marbles, move through it. We'll do it quickly in After Effects using Newton, and you'll see it's pretty simple and easy to set up. Let's start by creating our tube, and for that we'll use Illustrator. I'll take the brush tool and set it up to get a very smooth stroke. It took me a few tries, but in the end, I got the path I wanted. I expand the stroke, and then use the expand appearance function to have just one path around it. I create a shape that will serve as a funnel. which I add to my stroke using the Pathfinder. Add the bottom, we have this round end that I'll cut off. I make a square and remove it with the Pathfinder. Once done, I save my Illustrator file and move to After Effects. I import my Illustrator file and create a new composition directly with it. Then I create shape layers from this Illustrator file. Here, there's a shape that's not needed, so I delete it, and I change the color of my tube. Let's import my texture to create my marbles. I place it in my composition and use the ellipse tool to create a circular mask. I make sure this mask is the right size, which is a bit wider than my tube. Then I duplicate my marbles to create six of them. Each time, I move the inside of my mask to get different marbles. I center the anchor point on the content and create three different sizes of marbles, small, medium, and large. Let's prepare our tube for animation, and for that, we'll use the Prepare Soft Bodies script. I enter these values in the preferences and simply click on Prepare for Newton. The script creates small controllers that will allow my tube to deform in Newton and After Effects. I'll rearrange my composition by placing my layers above the controllers. I also add some style options to give volume to my marbles. Once that's done, I can launch Newton. Let's start by correctly placing my marbles. I select all my yellow objects with the C key and set them to AEmatic. This way, they stay static but with physical constraints. I slightly change the global properties of my simulation. I set substeps to 20 and turn off collision tolerance. I increase the tension of my aematics to 3. Now, the objects are a bit more restrained. However, my objects don't pass through my funnel. So I select these objects and set them to dead. Now these objects are transparent to the animation of my marbles. Here, we see that my objects are all influenced by gravity. They descend slightly when I start the simulation, but I want them to stay in place. So I'll select all these yellow objects again and set gravity scale to zero. These objects are no longer influenced by gravity. I select them again and put them in another collision group so they don't interact with each other. Let's create a closed chain of weld joints between all these objects by doing shift plus click. These joints will allow me to create a deformation while keeping the shape of my tube. I set the tension of the joints to 60, and we can see that my tube deforms better when my objects pass through it.
I adjust the friction a bit so the movement of my objects in the tube is smoother. Oops, at the end, my objects are stuck. To fix this, I select them and change their collision group. I make sure they no longer touch the marbles in group A. I also remove the joints connecting them. So, what does it look like now? My objects pass through the end of my tube nicely. I have my simulation, I could render it, but I want it to be longer, as if there were many objects. For this, we'll use Newton's teleportation function. So I go back to After Effects and create an object that will serve as a portal. Let's head back to Newton. I select this new object and set it to static. Then, under teleportation, I enable portal. Next, I select my marbles and make them teleportable. That's it. Let's see how it turns out. When my marbles pass through this new object, you'll see they get teleported back to where they started. This lets me create a really long animation without adding any more objects than what's already in my composition. I increase the duration of the simulation. Then, in After Effects, I offset my marbles in time so they appear one after the other. Back to Newton. I can simply restart my simulation. Now, I have a longer animation because my objects get teleported back to their starting point when they exit the tube. I only added a few, but you could add more with different sizes and shapes. You can also adjust the parameters of the joints and AE Maddox for different deformations. This way, you can create a wide variety of animations. Let's render my simulation, and then I can go back to After Effects. I open my new composition, Sim01. I select all my yellow objects and hide them. Then I display my tube. Here, there's an issue. My tube is offset from its initial position. Just modify the position in Transform Group 1 and set this value to zero. I need to adjust the settings of my composition because my simulation is 1200 frames long and my composition is much shorter. Let's set a duration of one minute, that should be plenty, and I'll adjust the length of my layers to match the composition. Now, let's do a preview. There you go. That's my basic animation, but afterward, you can customize the look of your objects however you like for example, to get a result like this. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You can download the files from our website. The link is in the description. See you soon for a new tutorial.